Hi, we're going to quickly introduce our AFDX solution here. Here we have a MPC8572 board, which is an actual AFDX end system. On one core we have PyQuest, on the second core we have our AFDX implementation running. Currently the dual AFDX connections are just in loopback mode. Okay, now you're going to see the AFDX end system connected to the AFDX bus and we're going to test the performance of the system. For this purpose we have a redundant AFDX line. As we could not afford an airplane for this demo, we are running it with a simulator and tester. And uh, actually we have installed eight virtual links for this purpose and on each of these links the end system is putting quite a heavy load by sending 1000 packages per second. The overall throughput of this system is about 9.2 megabytes which is almost the maximum that you can get over a 100 megabit line. Now in this configuration our AFDX end system will still continue to send its packages over 8 virtual links. However, we will now put a lot of noise on the AFDX bus. This has been achieved by configuring the simulator to send out packages every microsecond, which puts a heavy load on the network. So now let's see how this affects the overall system performance. Our end system here is still sending at the same speed as before. And last but not least, we're going to look at the timestamps of the packages we receive over the two redundant lines. And we can see that the maximum delay is less than a microsecond. So I hope you enjoyed this quick introduction to our FDX implementation. If you did, Watch out for the next edition of our live report from the engineering desk. Bye.